What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I've got the Sushi Roast Mukbang up. I've got it at 1.75 speed. Can't see the likes. 5 hours, 4,000 views, which if you go back is significantly more than what she normally has. And let me just say that's what she wants. You know, this is a business to a lot of people, including Chantal. And she wants business to pick up she wants drama she wants attention she wants views and interacting with other creators saying things for shock value those are the ways that she does it okay when it wasn't shocking enough to see her sit there and put things in her food port she began to use her little stubbies in food port to say things to that point because i've seen a number of clips some of which christina sent me over this is the internet. Someone is going to have an opinion of you that you don't like. And that's fine. You can't spend your whole day tracking down people's opinion of you and then trying to self-justify whatever opinion they have as being incorrect. So when other creators talk about things that go unspoken, there's a reason for that. It's not worth my time to defend myself against things that I know aren't true. That's why you don't see two-hour reactions on my channel, and you never will. If someone says to you that your car is purple, and you know that your car isn't purple, and you're the one driving your car, and this person's never seen you or your car, how much time of your day is it worth to tell them that your car is actually blue. None is the answer. And that's where I am with so much of the things that Chantal says. Why all of a sudden we value Chantal's opinion, we trust Chantal's word when she says something about us, personally, and then every other aspect of her life is a complete full-blown fabrication, I will never understand. So let me make it emphatically clear to Chantal or anyone else listening. I don't care what anyone thinks about me, thinks that I've done, thinks that I'm worth, thinks who I am, because I am the one that has lived and is living my life. And if you don't have that perspective, then I feel sorry for you. But to me, the past is just that, the past. And I promise you, my future is better because I've learned from the mistakes that I've made, I've laughed at myself when I needed to laugh at myself, and I've moved forward with lessons learned. If I was to sit here and go through my past every three days, guess who I would be no better than? The person filming the Sushi Roast Mukbang. Hitting play. The original introduction is playing. I cannot remember to turn my headphones down. I So she's a little bit subdued, throws in a hamio plug, which oh, I can only imagine these are selling like hotcakes. So just again with the hamio. She's actually still left the chicken pickle hamio in there, which odd. So she needs energy. She believes food correlates to energy. She's got a full calorie Mountain Dew. Great for energy, by the way. I had a kombucha today for energy, but I also saw kombucha at the store in a can unrefrigerated, and I instantly thought to myself, doesn't that kill it? <laughs> doesn't that kill the bacteria to not be refrigerated? We have an ad almost immediately into this video. Tell me that you need rad revenue without telling me you need rad revenue. A minute and 28 seconds in. So she's went back to this sushi place. So she doesn't like wasabi, but she opened it. I'm sure Amberlynn Reed is having a hissy fit. Of course the cat is going to want sushi, Chantal. I mean, this is probably the most close food that it eats that you eat in raw fish. So she's saying that people are coming out for her, and then she's going to come after them. 
So she doesn't care about the subscriber count because it's less than 6,000 odd that that somehow makes someone's opinion invalidated, but I digress. She's getting all the sushi out of the trays. She is just, whatever they've given her as a condiment, she is just pouring on. She's going to try to use her flippers to maneuver these chopsticks. Okay. She's saying that people are hypocrites. So she even said in that opinion of when I say something about someone, they say something about me and I bring up their past behavior. That's the problem, Chantal. You, you and so many others just refuse to move on from the past. While you sit here and devour, and some of these are my greatest thumbnails, by the way. You know, you make your past continually relevant, Chantel. You brought up Natter just the other day. For what purpose? For what reason? It didn't need to be done. But you talk to us about being a hypocrite. Please, I'm all ears. If you could stop eating for two seconds... So, I guess this goes back to her blindly defending Cyrax, which, again, this is her ownership. She's blindly defending something she knows nothing of. So, she's saying that this person is talking about beating her up. But, you know, Sala is a street fighter. So, she's again threatening actions against this person. And believes this is all incriminating them. Which, Chantal, you've done all these same things. Just the other day, you said very similar things to FFG. And then she openly says, I know you want to have relations with this person so you can both go to jail if you continue this path. Chantal, you really can't do any of these things. So she didn't watch... The videos, which we all know is untrue. So it looks like the panel, I couldn't see anyone other than, um, oh, I'm not sure who, what her name was. We covered her for a little bit. The tarot card. Heather, Heather, there we go. Foodie brought her up. She knew exactly who it was. Thank you. So Chantal is again saying, this is why people hide behind avatars. Chantal, you would best handle yourself hiding behind an avatar the cat is playing with something in the background which she's left unattended you can hear it and her whole stance of sala is a triple metal kung fu fighter chantal let me explain something to you Sala doesn't need you championing his kung fu assets, okay? They do give medals in kung fu, but the reality is, if you've actually trained martial arts, you know there's a respect that comes with it for not only the skills that you have, but others. So you don't go around acting as if you're the toughest person in the room because you know, in many cases, you could subdue most people in the room. And it goes unsaid. That's the confidence that proper martial arts training can give you. She, so Foodie is now saying if you go near her family's house, Chantal, what are you going to do? You could barely get up off the floor. Th this is the situation you've put them in. So now, now her father has a crossbow. Fantastic. I mean, these would probably be the most clear-cut threats that have been made, I would imagine. And why does she keep saying we? Chantel, this is what's happened. This is what you've devolved your life to. You were starting drama with people on the internet while being in another country, presuming that you're protected, falling back on Salah, and then now wanting to be the victim. You are the one that started all of this with all of these people. So... In a way, sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And don't 
think that Sala is going to be there to save you. Sala should actually be saying, listen, please don't come on here and insult my training. Please don't sit here and insult what I've accomplished by dragging it into this. So she's having to go back, and again, almost what I preface this video with, if you have to explain yourself to people that don't understand you, that's one thing. But if you continually have to go back and do it, then that's something else. Chantal, really, anyone. Here's the reality. I have an ad here for New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance. Here's the reality, Chantal. Someone has an opinion of you that you don't like, and it's somewhere that you haven't seen it. How willing are you to go seek it out to respond to it is the question. Because that's always going to be the case. You're never going to please every person every single time. There's always going to be someone that disagrees with something you do. The stance you have, the actions you take, the food that you eat, the relationship that you're always going to be something. You will exhaust yourself chasing down people with what you perceive as the wrong opinion of you and trying to make it right. And what you're far better suited to do is help build a community around the people that do appreciate your stance, your viewpoint, your opinion. Because this video here insults every Beezer that you have. Because you don't give them this passion. You don't give them this energy. You don't honestly give them the time of day. But when it comes down to engulfing sushi trays, so she's going through a situation where I've said, I just don't know enough to talk about it, Chantal. And I would wager to say, even though you spend a majority of your day eating food and on the internet, you don't either. And when you put yourself intentionally into situations that you don't know enough about, these are the things that are going to happen. And rather than just admit that you need to move forward, you instead double down. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact, people told you to stop engaging. And she even said, I understand it's my bad for not looking into it before opening my mouth. Then admit that, say your piece, and be done. But again, the entertainment, the drama, is why we have a thousand views an hour and not 1,000 views in five hours. She is not even enjoying the sushi. We're 16 minutes in. There's only a couple of pieces left. She's going through definitions of things that don't really need to be discussed by her. And I don't... I don't understand how you could eat while talking about these things... That, that in and of itself is a problem to me. But it's not slowing her down one bit. So she's again just kind of going through and saying, listen, if all these things are true, wouldn't he have been arrested? I believe she just compared him to another creator. And then it says, you know, for example, she's watching streams. And she's talking about people going through Amber and herself and saying that they're more successful than those people. To find success, Chantal, what, what are you using the definition of success as? She's going through his DVD business. So, again, everyone, Chantal, you'll learn, has a price for something. What you may find no value in, others will find tremendous value in. For example, that sushi you just bought. I would never buy three trays of it. I don't see the value in it. You did. So she's now saying she did her homework. And she dug around. Imagine if she put this time into getting her health back in order. Imagine if she went and rather than look at someone being set into a decoy situation decided to maybe revisit Weight Watchers. And now she's going through the discussions they had and saying things that really don't need to be said. I think pretty much everyone can, you know, everyone fails to condone 
those conversations that were had. <laughs> no one's sitting there and championing what he was doing, Chantal. And now you're saying you don't care about it. But here we are also caring enough about it to make a 20-minute video. Why do I feel like she didn't even acknowledge that she ate? So now she's saying, listen, I have this loser on my neck because of what I said. Yes, Chantal, that's a very accurate statement because of you. And now she's saying you antagonize the situation. You're an antagonizer. No, Chantal, you are the reason you're in this situation. And she says it's for entertainment. You're absolutely correct, Chantal. Thank you. You don't understand how antagonizing the situation makes things better, but you constantly do the same things to FFG. She's deleting the comments. She's going back to the law. Chantel, I, I truly hate to say this, but you have ruined any credibility you have with the law based on the situation with Natter. No one is going to believe what you have to say because you've cried wolf so many times. You even sit there and just said, when I go back, I have two people to deal with. You can't deal with FFG properly in the way that you think that you should. Because you've done all the things to her, essentially, that you are upset about being done to you. Which is going out with a false opinion and promoting it. She's now finishing out. She wants to say one more thing and then she's not going to address this person anymore either. She doesn't watch this person. She watches creators through other creators. She's talking about her inability to have children. And she's saying that taking care of a child is an accomplishment and it doesn't bother her because she doesn't want children. She doesn't like children. This is the same person that wanted to go to Disney a couple days ago. She embedded an ad. Uh, she embedded. I I've have an ad for the world's smallest tungsten tool. It looks like a little baby shank. Is that what it is for? I, they're they're selling it as you know, you can uh, open an envelope with it, but. Yeah, they're saying, we engineered a blade you can forget you have until you're at TSA. And then they're going to be like, yeah, what is this? Get another flight, sir. All right, so I'm going to hopefully finish this with no more ads. So she's saying she's not insulted by her inability to have a child. Cackling and laughing. I mean, Chantal, even if you wanted a child now, and you could have one. Are you in the physical shape to actually birth a child? And she's going back and saying that she's just defending herself against the animal accusations. But again, th those have been proven, Chantal. We've all seen the paperwork from the vet. She's going to try very hard to look past all this. But you're not, Chantal, because you need this for money. You need this for attention. And you need this for drama. It's not defending yourself. It's justifying yourself. Learn to defend yourself with your actions and not your words. Defend yourself by moving forward in your life, Chantal. It'll be so much better. She's falling back on Hamio. She's saying that no one else in the community will have a hamio but her because she's the most important ham in the land. And that is the end of the video. Got it done within 20 minutes. Proud of myself. I appreciate you guys watching it. Love to know your thoughts on it. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.